Hey friends, Tiffany here with a quick video on how to begin journaling. Now, while there are many different ways to journal, there's absolutely no wrong way to journal. You just have to choose what type of journaling you like and just get started. Now, there are many different types of journaling, but for this video, I'm going to talk about three of my favorite kinds of journaling. Art journaling, creative journaling, and junk journaling. I personally believe all forms of journaling are intertwined with each other, but for the purpose of making this more clear, this is how I describe each type. Art journaling is all about the art. An art journal is a place to play and experiment with various types of art supplies and mixed media techniques. It is kind of like a sketchbook, but the entire thing is a finished work of art. Art journaling is expressive. It is a place to let out all of your emotions and thoughts onto the page, whether literally or abstractly. Paint, sketch, draw, or create collages. An art journal is a place for your art. Creative journaling to me is journaling for the scrapbooker at heart. It is a form of memory keeping, but on a smaller, intimate, less intimidating way. It is where you add photos of your life and journal your stories. A lot of creatives do this in a traveler's notebook, but any journal will work. Creative journaling is about preserving your memories and telling the everyday story of your life, but in a fun, creative way. Junk journaling is a fun catch-all journaling for me. You can art journal or creative journal in a junk journal. The novelty of a junk journal is that it can be anything. While it leans more towards using up vintage supplies and actual junk, you can make of it what you will. A junk journal is usually a handmade journal created from different pieces of materials like paper and fabric. These journals are often very elaborate and complete works of art in and of themselves. The most basic supplies you'll need to begin journaling is a journal of your choice and a pen. Any other medium will do as well, such as paints, inks, watercolors. Just any medium you're comfortable with using and have readily available is the best ones to use. Things like pattern paper, old book pages, stickers, and ephemera bits are also great supplies to have on hand. My suggestion is just to get the basics and any other supply that catches your eye. Now, there are tons of places where you can find and draw inspiration from. Instagram is one of the best platforms for journalers now. Hashtags like art journaling, junk journaling, and creative journaling provide heaps of inspiration you can take and replicate into your own. One of my favorite tags to follow is the Get Messy Art Journal tag. Even though Get Messy is all about art journaling, the community and its members experiment with all different types of journaling and they share all of their different creations. A membership to Get Messy is great if you're committed to creating a habit of journaling and want to be inspired each month with various journaling and art prompts, tutorials, and inspiration from guest artists. Other places like Pinterest and YouTube are also great places to find journaling inspiration. The best way to jump into journaling is just to start. There are tons of options out there to choose from, but I say begin with whatever type of journaling that attracts you the most. Play around until you get a feel of it. You may like one type of journaling over another and it's completely fine to jump around. Again, I believe it's all interchangeable and there are absolutely no rules. <laughs>